Hello everyone, I am going to discuss quick sort in this session. Uh, it uses divide and conquer strategy for sorting unordered elements of an array. Unlike merge sort, quick sort does not divide the array into two equal parts. Instead, it is going to use the pivot element to, to divide the array into two parts. So here, like uh, this is going to be the example. Let us solve this example first. Here, like uh, in quick sort, we can fix any element as the pivot element. Either you can fix the first element as the pivot element or else the last element as the pivot element or else some middle element as the pivot element. What I am just going to do here means I am just going to fix the first element as the pivot element. The element which is next to the pivot element I am just going to write it as A and the sorry I and the last element is going to be J. Now the constraint here is in the quick sort always i must be less than the pivot element and also j must be greater than the pivot element this is the condition always i must be lesser than the pivot and j must be greater than the pivot only if it satisfies this condition we will be able to increment i and we will be able to decrement j else we need to exchange i and j now the pivot element is 65 now the i pointer is pointing 40 and the j pointer is for uh, pointing 45. Now we are just going to compare first i with the pivot element. The i is 40 and the pivot is going to be 65, right? So when we compare 65 and 40, yes, i is lesser only. It is satisfying the condition. So we can increment i one position. Then again, we are just going to compare i and pivot element. The condition here is i must be always lesser than the pivot element. But here the i is greater than the pivot element. So since it is greater, we won't be able to increment the i pointer. So we can stop the i till here. Now we will go to j part and check. So when we check j, the j must be always greater than the pivot element. But now here the j is lesser than the pivot element. So in that case, we cannot decrement j also. Only if the j is greater, we will be able to decrement j one position. Since it is lesser than the pivot element, we won't be able to decrement j now. Now, i also we cannot increment and j also we cannot decrement. In that case, what we do means, we will be exchanging the position of i and j. 65, 40, j will come here and i will go there. j is 45 and i is 75 and 80. Now I will be here and J will be here and this is our pivot element. Now check again. Pivot element with I, yes I is lesser so you can increment I now. Now the I value is 80 and the pivot is 65. When you compare I is greater, the I must be lesser but I is greater over here. So we cannot increment I position. Now we go to J now. We will stop I till here. Now we will go to J now and check J along with the pivot element. When we compare pivot and j, yes it is greater. If it is greater, the j can be decremented. So we will decrement j one position over here. And now the j is 80, right? Pivot element is 65. You compare 65 and 80 again. Yes, j is greater only. If it is greater, we will be able to decrement j one position. Then again, j if you compare, it is lesser. Now j you cannot decrement and also i you cannot increment. Now, now here you cannot exchange i and j when you can exchange i and j means when your i is lesser than j then only you will, you will be able to exchange i and j but here the j is greater than i since the j is greater than i you won't be able to exchange i and j instead what we are just going to do means we are just going to swap j and the pivot element when i and j are overlap directly we will be just swapping the j element along with the pivot element now we will write 45 here and 65 here fine this is the pivot element right and 40 here 80 and here 75 so now the pivot element has come to the right position now other than the pivot element these two elements and these two elements we are supposed to sort now so this is the pivot element the element right to the pivot element and the elements left to the pivot element will be considered as the two different sub arrays now these two will be one sub array and these two will be one sub array again we are just going to apply the same procedure again with this sub array as well as with this sub array again 
this will be the pivot element the one only one more element left here in the sub array so both i and j is going to be 40 now now again we are just going to compare p and i if you compare yes as a i it must be lesser and as a j it must be greater so when you compare 40 with 45 as an i yes it is lesser so you can increment i one position but there is unfortunately there is no element over here now you just stop i over since there is no element over here you cannot do any process with i now now you just come to j when you compare with the j j must be greater but it is lesser over here so you cannot decrement the j position over here so you it will stop till here in that case what will happen directly will be just swapping j and the pivot element now 40 will come here and 45 will come here this is the pivot element so the pivot element wherever you just you are moving to the pivot element you will be just moving it to the right place only so now this element is in the right place and 65 also is in the right place and since like right uh, if you check the left to this pivot there is only one element so you cannot do any division or something like that so since there is only one element is remaining you cannot do any uh, you cannot you no need to apply any procedure over here it will remain the it will retake in the same place here then again this subarray if you take this will be the pivot and this will be i as well as j now when you ask i if you compare yes it is lesser so you can increment i but no element over here to compare so you come to j as a j it must be greater since it is lesser what you must do you need to like directly swapping it the j along with the pivot so 75 will come here and 80 will come here this is pivot this is in the right position 65 also in the right position 45 also in the right position since there is only one element over here in the subarray no need to apply any procedure so we can uh, like it will remain it in the same place now finally the list are the list is sorted now we will discuss another example same again we are just going to fix the first element as the pivot element then the element next to the pivot is going to be i and the last element is going to be j when you compare i must be lesser but i is greater so you cannot increment i position you just come to j compare pivot and j since the pivot is greater yes you can decrement j one position again you compare j and pivot yes it uh, no it is not greater it is lesser so you cannot decrement j and also you cannot increment i also because it is greater and it is lesser it must be lesser and this must be greater since it is greater and this is lesser you cannot increment i as well as you cannot decrement j in that case we just check i and j position yes i is lesser than j in that case you can swap directly j and i so j will come here and i will go there 3 5 25 this is i and this is j and this is pivot element again you compare p and i yes i is lesser so you can increment i one position again you just compare 5 and 3 yes 3 is lesser again you can increment i one position 5 and 10 you compare it is greater if it is greater you cannot increment i position so you come to j now you, j, you just compare 10 and 5 yes it is greater if it is greater the j can be decremented again you compare j and 5 it is lesser so you cannot decrement the j position now you just check i and j position whether the i is lesser than j or not no i is not lesser than j in that case what we must do we need to swap j along with the pivot element so j will come here and the pivot element will come here now the pivot is in the right position 3 4 10 25 now this will be separate subarray and this will be separate subarray the element right what are all the elements are uh, <coughs> remaining in the right left as well as the right uh, will be considered as the two different subarrays again this is pivot i and j <coughs> pivot since there is only one element i both i and j is going to be 25 here i and j is going to be 4 now again you compare as a i it must be lesser but it is greater so you cannot increment i it will remain it in the same position you just, so you cannot increment so you just go to the j so as a j it must be greater if it is greater you will be able to decrement j one position yes three and four is greater so you are decrementing one position since there is no element only the pivot is there no other element is over here so there is only i is remaining if it is j you can do exchange if it is since there is a i over here you cannot do any exchange over here so we can write it directly 3 and 4 
and 5 already is in the right position only then again 10 and i is going to be 25 as i it must be lesser since it is greater you cannot increment i position you just come to j as a j yes it is greater so you can decrement j over here but there is no element over here so only i and pivot is remaining so you can write as it is now this is the final sorted array now we'll discuss the pseudocode yeah this is the pseudocode this is the algorithm for quick sort so now the first thing is we are just going to uh, divide the problem into two sub problem how we'll be dividing this into two sub problem when we are changing the location of the pivot element so the uh, then the the arrays will get divided into two sub arrays so the element what are all the elements are available in the left position that will be considered as the different array and the elements which are uh, right to the pivot element will be considered as the separate sub array so when you segregate like that j is going to be the pivot element before j is going to be one sub array and after j till end is going to be another sub array so here how we are just going to partition it when we exchange the position of the pivot that will be done only through this partition algorithm that partition algorithm i have written over here so here v is going to be the pivot element see here we are just going to repeat the entire thing until i is greater than or equal to j it means that only when i is lesser than j we will be able to do this recursively for example here when we will be able to increment when we will be keep on incrementing the i position until when your a of i is greater than or equal to pivot element we will be able to keep on incrementing the i position when your a of i is greater than pivot element in that case you won't be able to increment the i position same here when we will be able to decrement the j position when your a of j is greater than pivot element then only we will be able to decrement the j position when your a of j is falling lesser than the pivot element in that case you won't be able to decrement the j position so until a of i is greater than or equal to pivot element we will be able to keep on incrementing the i position as well as when your a of j is until your a of j is lesser than or equal to pivot element you will be you will be able to keep on decrementing the j position here when it is violating when it when i is going beyond the limit going beyond j when i and j are overlapped in that case you will be swapping this is the pivot element and this is j you will be just swapping the pivot yeah you will be just swapping the pivot element and the j so in the place of pivot you will be writing j in the place of j you will be writing the pivot element over here fine so here the, when your i is lesser than j you can directly exchange i and j for exchange i have written the code over here that is just a swapping process over here so when it is greater it will come out when it is lesser it will come out if your i is less than j you will be exchanging directly i and j when your i is great when your j is greater than i in that case you will come to this part you will be exchanging j and the pivot element in the jth place the pivot element will go in the in the pivot element place j will come so finally it will return the sorted list thank you